Ahoy fellow builders and welcome to Tune R. Today we're going to do a quick build and review to this HG1 is to 144 RX78-2 Gundam from the Gundam the Origin version. This is the first time that I got my first bought Granddaddy line model and thanks to our friendly shop, Hobby Ali. For more kits, just visit their website or PM them on their Facebook. And going back, this kit was manufactured by Bandai from the series of Gundam The Origin version under Mobile Suit Gundam line. And this item was included in the 40th anniversary of the Gantla franchise. Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin or The Origin Kido Senshi Gundamu G Origin is a manga written and illustrated by Yoshikazu Yasuhiko and published in Gundam Ace between 2001 and 2011 and won Seiyun Awards in Japan. Also from the adaptation of the original Mobile Suit Gundam anime series. It is under the timeline year Universal Century 0079, the 8th month of the vicious one-year war between the Earth Federation and a breakaway nation of space colonies, the Principality of Zeon. Speaking of breakaway, Let's start to separate these parts from the runners. And this is the actual and bare look of the kit as I got excited that I forgot to shoot the unboxing clip. Let's add up some details before we proceed with the review.
And bam! Here's Granddaddy with some details. Instead of choosing the early type or the middle type, I decided to do a hybrid build for it. The height of the kit is about 5 inch and around 6 inch including the shoulder cannon. With the kit weight of 38 grams or around 54 grams if attach all the accessories. And this kit is outstanding and superb. The color is somewhat darkened so that it will reflect the more realistic feels. Color separation is good except for this V thing in the skirt that you need to apply the sticker as well as these circle joints here that I decided to paint it. Sticker eyes were in a color of flat yellow but I decided to paint it as well though it's kind of to me because it is not a metallic effect. With the inclusion of sticker decals which is nice to add up for the details in a straight build way. Adding up for its superb design are the panel lines that gave terrific details and somewhat an RG accent feels. For the articulations, a 360 degrees turn for the head and also can look up and move forward and backward. 360 turn for the ball joint elbow and a move forward like this. Raise arm sidewards up to this point, 360 degrees turn for the arm, elbow bend, full rotation of the ball jointed hands, 360 torso turn, bend forward which is one of the highlights, also it can bend backwards, flipping the front skirt, flipping the side skirt, for the box skirt, uh, it remains steady. Skirt features with the bending capabilities. Raise the leg. Move it back. Side kick. Full leg rotation. Bend the knees. feet rotation left and right flip of the feet another feature is the toe bending function with movable vernier in the calf with covers hole points in the back waist and arms for the accessory attachment for the accessories Two beam sabers, two shoulder gatling guns, two forearm vulcans, a shield, an early type beam rifle, a middle type beam rifle, a hyper bazooka, and a shoulder cannon. Alongside enjoying this kit, you need to consider some pointers. This red thing in the forehead is easy to pop out and it might fall to the Gantla black hole. You know what I mean. The shoulder cannon is a bit loose. Hand cover was also easy to pop out. The hands attachments also pop out easily that might get a bit annoying for some hand poses. This circle thing in the ankles also pop out easily. But these are all manageable for the kit and you have the option to glue them immediately. For me, this is one of the best HG lines in 2020. Lots of parts included and the kit showcased with multiple conversion parts. You can also either you do the early type or the middle type or you can do the hybrid form like I did. You will also enjoy toy photography with this kit. Its stability is at its finest that you will also love to play with. And here's my score to sum up all the reviews. Color got 4.8 out of 5. Ease of assembling is 5 out of 5. 
Articulation is also 5 out of 5. Kit stability is 4.6. Kit presentation is 5. Stickers and decals 4.5. Parts intact 4.5. With an overall score of 4.8 for this kit. And did you know that there are many acronyms made in the Gundam name by itself? Like Generation Unsubdued Nuclear Drive Assault Module, Generation Unrestricted Network Drive Assault Mode, Giant Unrealistic Nuclear Dams Armed Master Fully, and many more. And some termed it as a combination of gun and freedom. At isa na naman pong gunpla alaman na naman ang hatid sa inyo ng TuneR. And also, I want to try any of the origin kits from the master grade line, Bekene Men, and this is the HG1 is the 144RX7802 Gundam from the Gundam Origin version. Until next time, here in Chun R, just build more and build up. And this is the first time that I'll do some acknowledgements. Shout out to June Cleophas. Boss Silver, and let's read some messages like from Gyu Habi RC. I enjoyed a great video. Let's be friends, of course, Mr. Gyu. Let's be friends from Gabriel Agapito. Always love the scene in the anime, absolutely amazing. Too bad it's fragile. The kit is solid, though. Great review. I've learned new things. Thank you, Sir Gabriel. From Dido Gantla. Nice Gantla Alaman trivia. More of this, bro. Yes, definitely. We'll try to make more Gantla Alaman every video. And many thanks to these people around.